during Life Hard, this is Nick Otter, and we were tasked by Aziz Makhani over there to uh, create an Android application for Kickshot, uh, the board game. Kickshot is a board game based around the rules of soccer, and uh, Aziz asked us to make a level one or junior level of Kickshot to uh, kind of uh, uh, to allow for low, uh, younger players to be able to play this game. So uh, our goals for the project were to make the level one gameplay, uh, to make the app available on Google Play by the end of the semester. Uh, we were working on different ways to uh, make the board game feel more like a video game in leaderboards and achievements uh, than preparing for the warm-up level, which is more intensive, where you use cards and actual logic to play the game, so just dice rolls. Through our flow charts, real quick, they're pretty, pretty basic. Uh, the player often state the user clicks the Android app to roll the dice. If doubles are rolled, we change to the defense state. Then, otherwise, we advance the ball. We're close up to shoot. Then we uh, go to the uh, shooting states. If it's blocked and such, then we go to those occurring. States. Uh, for defense, again, the dice is rolled. If doubles are rolled, then it changes to an offense. So, uh, call the computer defense, and then we just change possession. And then if doubles are not rolled, then uh, you just return out of the function, and the offense continues to make progress. Uh, for the shot, it's a, just a normal move action, but if you get to the actual goal line, then a shot is taken off that move for you, and the defense, the block happens next. So once a shot's taken, uh, defense rolls the dice, if they get doubles, then it's a turnover, and they get the highest dice, so like they roll a five and a three, then the ball moves a five away from their goal, and they start as offense. And otherwise, there's a goal, and we restart in the center of the field, like a typical soccer game. Um, we decided to go about this with iterative development and tackling the biggest problem first. And the biggest problem for us was making sure we had a clickable board um, so that the user can interact with the uh, game with the device. And, and the big shot logo. Now the dice is here facing the user. So this is what we showed on our first snapshot day. Uh, click the screen, it rolls the dice. I got threes, so it goes to my opponent, the computer. Got a five, so it moved back. Now I need to roll doubles to get the ball back. Oh, I'm progressing. Thank you, Michelle. So back and forth. There I rolled, I rolled a five and a five. And then there's 4-4, four, four. so there's a good amount of uh, doubles that happen. I was surprised by that. And I'm just making progress towards... Is the library the dice? Did, did you build the dice or a library? No, I just got these off the internet. It was right. an image pack. Yeah. Yeah. It does doubles. seem to be a lot of doubles. Yeah, we're just using the standard Java random thing. We didn't try and write our own random functions. So... Um, and then got a goal, so it's really hard to see right now, especially from your guys' position. It's three to zero. And then uh, I roll. The computer's gonna roll, moving towards my goal. I'm not blocking him, it just continues to go, gives the computer a chance. So you can see right here, it's not super clear, right? This is what we showed at the snapshot day. So uh, in our most current one that hasn't been put on this device yet it actually changes to show the cards to really spell out what's happening. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think you have to head out. Yeah, you're going to have to feel so I've got a test to go to, so sorry, guys. So Jordan's going to have to handle the rest of the questions. I haven't heard that one before. A test. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two. A good, like a good a excuse, day. right? <laughs> My dog, I think it, right now. Thank you.